It is always a good makeup day when Lisa Eldridge lands at my doorstep. Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick, easy makeup look using only liquid and cream products and a one and done eye look that took me less than five minutes with one of my brand new favorite formulas. I'm also going to be playing with the brand new Lisa Eldridge Balm Embrace Melting Lip Color. I will have all of the details for you at the end of the video. There will be timestamps if you wanna go ahead and jump there. I personally love days where I can just do a quick makeup look and I feel like this is the perfect product for that. So we are going to get right into this and not waste any more time. Sometimes I absolutely despise putting on a whole bunch of makeup and I just have so much I wanna get done there in the day, but I still wanna wear makeup. So I'm gonna do a quick makeup look today. This is my Tula Skincare UVA UVB SPF 30. I like this one, it's got a nice glow to it. It doesn't have that greasy feeling. I'm gonna start with this. I'm using a skin tint today. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of color correcting because when I'm in a hurry, I don't have the time to color correct. I'm gonna use my NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. This is in the shade Night Swan. It's just a tad too dark for me. I'm actually gonna use this and kind of use it under my eyes like I would a color corrector. I've been trying this product in multiple different ways to see how to make it work for me because I don't really see it doing much of anything, but I don't wanna return it either. This might actually seem pretty odd, but I'm gonna use my Chantecai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint next. Instead of using this before the NARS, I wanna use this after. I like using this after doing color correcting because I feel like I kinda of still have that glow to my face in most of my face, or at least most of the areas that don't look diminished from the color corrector before doing my foundation. Hopefully that made sense, because I don't know if I'm making any sense. Just kind of get it all over and wherever I put that color corrector or in this case that brightener I'm just gonna gently pat it and really quickly I'm gonna use this sponge to kind of go right over the top of it today I'm gonna use my Surratt dewdrop foundation in the shade number three this is more of a skin tint it's pretty sheer I really like this it's a neutral color it's not cool toned like I would prefer but I'm not really interested in wearing a foundation today. I'm cool with, and it's just such small drops, I end up using quite a bit more than I would like. But I like to wear skin tints when I'm in a hurry, especially for work. I'm gonna pick it up here on the back of my brush with this Danessa Meyer, back of my hand, with this Danessa Meyer Express. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about this brush. I still don't think I like it more than my Sigma Beauty brush. May has been one of the busier months for me and I just cannot seem to keep up. I've got so much going on in my life with the kids. My son graduating high school and getting ready to go off for the military. I just, I feel like there's so much going on. I'm losing track of my own personal things, I'm trying to manage the children. And this has been quite the month for luminous makeup. I thought for sure we were gonna be entering a matte makeup phase, but I've seen nothing but luminous products as of late. I mean, I've seen matte, but surprised at how many luminous products have been launching. I mean, I'm here for it because I love luminous, but I thought we'd see more warm tones, more matte products, and we are seeing more warm tones come out, but I'm here for the luminous. I dig it. Now I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty, this is the eye brightener. I have mine in this shade Seashell. I love this little product, especially for no makeup makeup looks, but when I do a skin tint, this is what I like. I'm gonna put that right here on the inner corner area. And around my nose. And then this is the only powder I'm gonna use. This is the Anna Sui Water Powder. I love this powder. I have to powder my under eyes. I can't not powder my under eyes. I just know it'll crease up and look terrible no matter what I do. But otherwise, no powder anywhere else. Hopefully you guys can give me a little bit of leeway on this one. 
And I know the thumbnail's a little deceptive, but this is it. This is the only place I'm doing any powder. And it has water in the name, so does that count? I just love the way that makes my under eyes look. I love that powder. I'm gonna use my Makeup by Mario. I find this one to be quite easy to use. And I really like the luminosity of it when I'm wearing any light makeup. This has been fun to reach for. That Say bronzer on the other hand, not so much. Not a very good experience with that one. Not sure if that video is up before this one or not, but whew. it's coming. <laughs> that one is coming. And I find that the dry down time on this is absolutely wonderful. It's nice and quick. You'd think that it would be a little bit more tacky, but it's not. The formula is not as thin as I would like, but it does dry down and it just looks so beautiful and sheer and luminous. And then if I ever feel like I overdo it with any of my liquid products, I just kind of go over it again with my brush that I used for my foundation. And now a blush that I have absolutely really enjoyed is the Lawless Cream Blush. This is in the shade Angel. It's called the Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blush. It doesn't have like a, a heavy luminosity to it. It does have a little bit of blurring. It's matte, but it has a touch of dewiness. Hopefully that came across because, oh my goodness, I don't even know if I made any sense. <laughs> but I love this shade. This shade is absolutely perfect for my fair skin. My son Ryan has turned into quite the astronomer lately, so I hear a lot of space. That was just so quick and so beautiful and effortless. And doesn't it just look like a healthy dew, like a healthy glow? It's not a flat matte. I really, really like this product. Super easy to blend in with my, my sponge. I haven't used it with a brush, but I love it with a sponge. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And now one of my new favorite highlighters, the Surratt Highlighter Liquid Highlight in the shade Fru Fru. This thing has been so much fun to use. It's got an iridescent pearly pink glow to it. It kind of has like a little purple shift to it as well, but this thing is incredible. I work it into my sponge really good. And then I just tap it over my cheeks where I want it. And it just has the most beautiful, elegant, soft glow. There were so many good sales this month as well for Memorial Day, end of, end of spring, like early summer sales. This is gorgeous. I love this highlighter. There's no pearl, like no shimmer to it. It's just a pearl. So if you're worried about shimmery sparkles all over your cheek, not gonna happen. Let's spray this bad boy. Let's go ahead and do eyebrows really quickly because I still do my eyebrows even when I'm in a hurry. I just don't do them the same way I normally do. Comb them out. Grab my pen, not the pencil side. I don't want the pencil side. And then I'm gonna fill them in before I use my brow gel because I wanna make sure I get my fill correctly. get it looking the way I want before setting it and if I overdo it I can kind of fix it a bit with the comb. It's harder to fix when the brow gel is in place. This is my Urban Decay brow blade as well. So come over. See what I mean by if I overdo it I can just smudge it out with my finger. That's harder to do with the, the brow gel in place. When I'm in a hurry I'm not trying to make them look perfect either. Perfection is for the birds. I'm going to use my Benefit brow gel just kind of Comb it through there really quickly. Usually my brows take about a minute to 90 seconds when I do it this way. And I don't need them to lay perfectly flat either. For eyes today, I'm gonna do a very quick one and done. This is the Surratt Souffle. I have mine in the shade Nuage d'Argent. It's a gray with a little bit of a olive gold shimmer to it. It's beautiful. I used my fingers when I first applied this. I found I had better payoff with my fingers and it just looked a little bit more natural. Natural? So that's what I'm gonna do right now, is just use my finger to rub it into place. And I got this done It's so fast. When I did my eyes, it took me less than five minutes to do both eyes, but I was talking through this. And I'm not sure if that video is up before this one or not, but underrated product, highly recommend this thing. I wore it all day, even after a workout. I didn't notice any creasing on this until I worked out and I got all sweaty and gross, but otherwise, this thing is incredible. This shade is so elegant. 
I love it. It's not too deep. It doesn't have too much smoke to it. I think you could definitely smoke it out if you really want to. Please don't judge my fingers too harshly. I think I mentioned in one video where I have not been doing my nails because I've been so rough with them. And that is still true. That was all of 20 seconds. I'm gonna use a Danessa Meyer Express. This is a My30. It is a medium, like pointed blender brush. Just kind of swirl it around in my product a little bit. And what I like to do is gently get into that crease and diffuse that crease a little bit. That way to make sure it's really diffused and I don't have any harsh lines of demarcation there. Kind of helps keep the product from clumping up there as well because with my eyes and the way my hood is, it could clump up and look a little gross. I haven't had that experience yet, but I like to prevent cream products from creasing. Even after blending, I mean, this isn't even taking me five minutes. And I feel like that is just the most elegant, soft, subtle smoke. It's beautiful. I love that. This thing has a hefty price tag to it, but if you're in a hurry and you just want a sophisticated one and done, this Surat Souffle, this is the way to go. This thing is gorgeous. I just curl my lash a little bit. I have the tiniest, most sparse lashes, so I like to use my Lisa Eldridge Kitten Lash Mascara. I feel like I can just kind of get right up at the root of my lashes with the curve of the wand without having to do too much work. When I don't want to wear falsies, like for work I won't wear falsies, this is my go-to mascara. The formula doesn't flake and it doesn't budge. And I feel like I always make funny faces when I'm doing my bottom lashes too. Let's try to stretch out my face a little bit. Man, what I would not give for my husband's lashes. Long and gorgeous. Miss Lisa Eldridge came out of nowhere with a brand new lip formula. This is a new Balm and Brace Melting Lip Color. I picked up one shade. There is five shades in the lineup. I only got the one. I have a large lip collection. I'm trying to pace myself. I don't need a whole bunch. But if I love this formula, I will definitely be picking up at least one more. She says this is my next adventure in lip color. Balmy, buttery, nourishing Balm and Brace. Five irresistible shades that melt into the lips with natural butters and oils for deep lip care, benefits, and glass-like shine. I paid 34 US dollars for this. I only picked up one shade. Mine is in the shade Ep Epinui. Let me see. I think she tells you how to pronounce this. Epinui. <laughs> totally off base. Epinui. This color is a mauve pink inspired by the feeling of Epinui, of blossoming into your true, authentic self. I love that. That is absolutely amazing. Buttery, balmy, melting color. So there are five shades total. The other shades are Sweet Fig. This one is described as a pink brown. There is Metropolis, which is a deep blackberry. Oh, this one's pretty. Red Curve, which is a warm, bright red. Maybe I should have gotten that one because I'm really big into red lip colors. And then Meet Cute. That one is described as a light pink peach, but I only picked up this shade, the mauve pink Epanui. I thought this one might be a good start for me. It's that more cool pink undertone to it. And I've really been enjoying mauves. I don't have a lip liner on. I'm only gonna be trying this without the lip liner first, and then I'll go back around and kind of touch it up with the lip liner. I picked up quite a few more lip balm lippies recently. This one is absolutely gorgeous. The packaging isn't the same as her previous packaging. It's not magnetic, although I wish it were because that is just a level of elegance that you can't beat. It still has that really beautiful L with her lips there. Gorgeous. This thing has, I should have worn my glasses, 18 months shelf life, 2.8 grams of product. Mm, not bad. Okay. I've only swatched it and I thought when I swatched it, it had the most beautiful undertone to it. There's still quite a bit of color payoff with two swipes. I think it has a nice texture when I touch it. It doesn't feel heavily balmy. There are some things that are just so balmy that they just feel really sticky on the lips. This doesn't feel like that on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna apply it first. Ooh, feels nice. Has that soft vanilla scent to it. 
That feels amazing. That feels so soft. It doesn't feel super tacky. My lips aren't sticking together. It's like a My Lips But Better shade. I'm gonna use my Lisa Eldridge Sculpt and Shade Pencil. I have mine in the shade 1C. I'm gonna try to line my lips with this while the balm is on. It's a little difficult to do when it's too slippery. I don't think I need a lip liner for this lip product, but I kinda wanna see how it looks. Like I said, I don't think I need a lip liner, but I like wearing a lip liner. I'm gonna have to put it down before I use the balm, but I feel like a lip product like this, you should be able to just grab and use whenever you want to when you're on the go. No makeup, makeup doesn't matter. I think it's amazing. I think the color is just right. It's like my lips, but better. There's no weird taste to it. It's not tacky. It feels very comfortable, very nourishing and lightweight. This makeup look is it for me. I love doing simple makeup looks like this when I'm in a hurry or even when I'm getting ready for work. I think this balm formula from Lisa Eldridge is incredible. I think it was a needed piece in her collection. I love it. I do want to get one more shade. I think I want to get that red shade. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. Everything on my face is linked down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Tell me if you got anything from this new launch from Lisa Eldridge. I'm curious. I love knowing what you guys pick up. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.